Hello, good morning, how's it going? I'm Zet, and uh, today I'm going to show you the speedrun of Mushroom 11. I'm known for running game that at most two people in the world ever know, and this is one of them, so uh, have fun, and I hope that you will enjoy the run. Without further ado, I think we can just get started in 3, 2, 1, start. So, this game is a 2D platformer. We walk from right to left. Actually, we are this green blobbish uh, gibberish goo. However, I'm not controlling it. I'm controlling that white circle there. The white circle is uh, controlled with my mouse and that is an eraser. So, the green goo is a fungus and I erase cells of the fungus and then they will regrow on the opposite side. There, fun fact, there's actually uh, mushrooms on Earth who can walk like this, like erasing cells at one part and regrowing them. Blew my mind when I heard that. Um, and I have to maneuver like this through this uh, apocalyptic wasteland. Uh, important is I do only regrow cells as long as I touch a solid um, ground, ceiling or a wall. In midair I usually do not regrow cells. However, there are a few, th there are a few scenes where the game does help me uh, doing that. So we can see that happening later. You see, I do absorb everything I touch, like this plant, this mushroom. This is just um, for the 100% completion. It doesn't affect oops, gameplay uh, at all. So, and you can see I can shape, shift my form around a lot like this. And here we have a very important mechanic. I do split myself in half. So you see, I have now two fungi and have to be very careful to not accidentally uh, continue moving with the one um, without having erased the other. Because if I, you see, I always go with my eraser very close to the fungus blob and uh, that way I, um, well, the game does not let you accidentally erase the last cell of the fungus. It will always keep one cell and as long as it, you touch the ground it will regrow. However, if you have two uh, pieces of fungus somewhere around and you accidentally erase, uh, you want to move fast with one, you may accidentally erase the one that you're trying to move with. So that's uh, something I have to keep in mind. These things here, by the way, these plants are checkpoints, so whenever I die, I will respawn there. Here we have the first boss. I have to absorb its five leaves. When I do once, it will uh, do a little bit of a panic anim animation, so I have to try and not get thrown around. And okay, I have to go up here. Get this leaf down there. Maybe I can ah, maybe I can stay in there. That would be great. Oh, that's that's actually pretty good. Nice. And now I go here and absorb the final leaf. And while I do that, I squeeze down there so I don't have to wait until the whole boss has gone under and drowned. And we can continue to the second level. So here we are again in a abandoned city, moving along. If you're interested in the background music, by the way, uh, this is um, not li this is not composed for the game, but this is licensed music from uh, the ga the band called Future Sound of London. Uh, so if you like it, give them a listen. Here I just, you know, instead of growing back up there, I just grew on the wall and uh, made the metal bar fall down. As you can see, <coughs> what I'm really trying to do is keeping my momentum and my rotation uh, afloat as much as I can, because that is the, the only way I can, like, uh, be fast as a blob. Yeah, I'm trying to fall on the seesaw with a lot of momentum. Yeah, I did it nice. I could just could just squeeze down under the rock instead of climbing up on the on the platform up there and falling down. I could just do that instead. Now here's a gate. You see these three purple lights in the background. I have to touch them at the same time in order to open the gate. Now if it would let me, please. Eh, here we go. So. And we will see that mechanic a few more times. This purple goo is very, very dangerous, just as the poison from the spider that just hit me. You could see the, the mushroom becomes infected, becomes an infected mushroom. And uh, you um, have to, well, the, the infected cells, whoops, now oh, I fell into the lava. Um, and you have to erase the infected cells uh, before your whole fungus gets erased from the poison. So it does have mechanics like this. Um, game came out in 2015 and it actually uh, was a game idea that the developers got on Tame Games from um, a global game jam, I think 2012 was it? 
If you don't know what a game jam is, it is basically a um, time period over which people can develop a game or a small prototype game over the course of a weekend um, to a given theme. I will let you know more about that, but first we have the second boss. It's a giant spider and we're trying to not beat it, but I'm trying to build up a little bit of rotation here and... ah, Okay, that was really close. I'm gonna give this a few attempts. Usually it should work out uh, eventually. This game is unfortunately pretty unforgiving if you run it, so... Um, oh no, there's... Uh, ah! Okay, here we go. Nice. Skip the second boss. And go on to the third level. An abandoned uh, cornfield. And we find a new mechanic here, um, that we're gonna see in a second, which is... Water, right there. In water we can float and at the same time our cells will regrow. So we're gonna have to uh, keep in mind how to maneuver that. Here there's a grinder I could get inside and sh be shot up, but it's faster to just crawl up the wall. Or maybe it's just as fast. I actually never timed it, but um, getting in the grinder takes some time and you have to erase the fungus and stuff. So I usually just prefer crawling up there. Here you could see I could manipulate my momentum in the water and get catapulted upwards. So, um, that Game Jam, game ja it's Global Game Jam 2012, um, the, the way this Game Jam works, or Game Jams in general, you have a set weekend on a time, and um, when the Game Jam starts, the topic is revealed, and then you start making a game to the topic. That year... Okay, I just tried to, to fling myself over there, didn't work out, sad, doesn't matter too much. Uh, that year that topic was actually not um, a word or a sentence, but it was a picture. And the picture was of Ouroboros. Ouroboros is, you surely have seen it before, is the snake that eats its own tail. So, and this topic is reflected at a lot of things in this game. Nice, just a little platform skip there, crawl up on the wall instead of uh, using platforms. Saving some time, always nice. Okay, I'm activating these and crawl down there. The snake eating its own tail, that is a symbol for destruction and rebirth. Um, I have to get there as long as the camera moves up, because otherwise I'm screwed. Destruction and rebirth, rebirth is, a, is a topic that we see a lot in this game. You can see it's a post-apocalyptic world. And, um... Well, I have to push the... Ah! This trick can be a bit annoying. But I can't do it casually anymore, which is which is uh Alright, good. Whew. Um First of all we see that the world is uh destroyed, but at the same time new life forms are beginning to emerge, so we have uh, the topic of destruction and rebirth there. There's of course the movement mechanic, destruction and rebirth, like I destroy cells and they regrow on the other side. And in other other uh, parts of the of the lore and the uh, levels, um this design of, of uh Roboros will yeah, um, be brought upon. I really, I really think they. Um, I think it's pretty cool that they, when they made the full game, they actually ke uh, they kept the the topic alive um, in the full game as well. Uh, okay, so here I am. Uh, I'm actually supposed to throw over the rock, and usually it's faster uh, doing what I'm doing right here. But right now the game doesn't want, it doesn't let me to. Yeah, that was it. I'm trying to find a position where I just hit the button. All right, and now I have to. Quickly move through the gate. All right, there we go. Was well, probably still just as fast as if I had done the, the rock, if not even faster, because um, turning over the rock takes a lot of time. Uh, that's often underestimated. All right, oh, please stay on these. Okay, thank you. All right, and now we are getting the the next boss. It's like a mutated corn. I'm f uh, getting myself on top there, getting some fungus down and absorb its center and try... Ah, dang. I tried to stay on top of it so I could get shot up with the liani that it shoots out. Didn't work out. Not too bad. Still not a... Still a pretty uh, acceptable time. I'm, I'm happy with it so far. Nice. Let's go. Next chapter. This is one of the most important chapters in the game and with, with the uh, by far most annoying skip. Um, Unfortunately, very few people run this game. Uh, well, first of all, many few people even know this game, which is a shame because it's, it's a pretty good game. Uh, it is um, actually one of the games that is uh, funded by the Indie Fund. Indie Fund is um, 
Foundation by uh, Jonathan Blow, developer of Braid and The Witness. And um, uh, yeah, um, I really like its, its aesthetics and its movement mechanic. And few a few people run this game, but it's also very fun, but also very unforgiving to run because you have to be like oh, a lot of the little physics-based inputs uh, can make a huge difference. And when I ran this game a lot, like when I learned it, I experimented with it a lot because there weren't many runners before me. And I so I, I look at the world record, I I check what the runners had done before, and I try to find optimizations and well unfortunately <laughs> I also found a bunch of skips and these skips were always like super duper hard and we're gonna see one of those we, we I will try one of those at the end of this level but um, I might not get it so uh, we'll see because that skip is like really hard okay you have to uh, get this uh, wheel to be turned and um, open the gate on the left hand side Come on. It's one of the slow pace. Ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make one more rotation because if I Yeah. Okay, that should work. Alright, let's go. Yeah, just uh, get around the hook. Oh no. Here we go. We have one other one, another one of these gates. I have to touch all the lights. You remember? Now I'm continuing this. Here I'm doing a little bit of a, of a, a little trick. Instead of just going across all by myself, I'm waiting here and I'm keeping a bunch of fungus up there. Removing that, and now I'm putting the fungus down there until it gets stuck. Now I'm putting it up there until the rotation stops and it gets stuck. And now I'm moving across. This way I avoid accidentally rotating the discs and uh, having a longer way. I'm attempting a skip here now that... Uh, oh nice, it worked, cool. So um, usually you have to like get uh, down there between the gears and make the, um, make the grinder stop. But if you're uh, clinging to the ceiling and making use of the regrowth on the ceiling, uh, you can skip that grinder. Ah! Grinder section. Yeah, and sometimes stuff like this happens when you accidentally erase cells that you wanted to keep and yeah this is one of the main challenges of the run i mean main challenge of the game actually but in the run of course the main challenges keep uh, being even more so present this one is a very simple uh simple puzzle but i yeah, i fail it more often than i am willing to uh, admit as you can see right now so let's see how many attempts i need for this simple puzzle Oh no, this doesn't look too... Ah, pfft, okay, nice. We will get this eventually, don't worry. Always at marathons, I fail this. This is... Uh, this is fine. We're gonna get this, don't worry. And even, even if we don't, I made sure to bring up a backup safe where I have all the levels unlocked already, so... Okay, here we go. This is the this is the the fourth fourth boss. Um, I'm supposed to destroy its like drills on the side, so um, I, I get an opening and can absorb the, the the shrimp pig. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on that though. Okay, that doesn't work. So what I'm trying now is building up a rotation here. Ah, that didn't go, go so well. What I'm supposed to do is well. Maybe we're gonna see what I'm supposed to do, but I'm gonna give, a f give, give it a few more attempts. Shoot me, I wanna destroy it, I wanna work towards the casual goal as well. What I'm supposed to do is, well, destroy many of these drills, get an opening, absorb the inside of this, this beast and use its apparatus to crawl through the lava and uh, reach the trigger zone for the ending. However, with building up a very precise rotation, and slicing off a piece of the fungus. Um, let's give it one more attempt. Doesn't doesn't look too too bright to be honest. So let's let's do it. One more attempt. Let's go. Ah, oh, okay. That that didn't look. Whatever. Uh, we're just gonna use it the casual way. You can you can very if you're very uh, precise about it, you can build up a lot of um, 
rotation and use that momentum and fling across uh, the lava pond and reach the trigger of the exit. And that trick is really stupid and I hate myself for having discovered it. So um, it's actually not, not a good idea to discover our tricks in games you like. Oh, that's not good. Okay, dang it. Right. I didn't mean to get up there so early, so maybe I can destroy this. Okay, as, as more of the more drills I destroy, the easier it gets for me to uh, reach the inside of the apparatus. I'll get the claw up there. I'll even shoot some three at the same time at me. Wow. Okay, now wait until it stops, because then I otherwise I will get sliced again. Excuse me? Ah, oh, here we go. So absorb this thing, and now I'm gonna just use the apparatus and crawl through the ending of the level. Yeah, this skip is like a run killer now, um, unfortunately. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, be careful what we what you wish for. If you're wishing for new skips, and suddenly you find skips that are so hard that you can't easily reproduce them. Well, okay, next level. This is a a volcano level, and we will find an find something here that is uh, obligatory in uh, 2D side-scrollers. Can you guess what it is? You will find out about it anytime. Whoops. Okay. So very chill music in this stage. Slice something off here. Oh, you might notice, by the way, I can have a small eraser and a big eraser. Uh, so, yeah. And or if I just want to slice off a small part of the fungus, I'd use the small eraser. And if I just want to move across, I use the big eraser, such as now. Um, oh, also, um, I am not using the mouse buttons for the eraser, which is the default way of playing this game. But uh, moving around your mouse a lot and pressing a mouse button puts a lot of strain on your strings in the arm. And uh, speedrunning in health is actually a topic that gets talked, a lot, uh, talked about way too little. <laughs> because uh, just um, doing the repeated actions all the time with precise inputs. Uh, and yeah, good. good reach the checkpoint be good precise inputs and um, strats and doing lots of practice can put a lot of strain on your wrists and your hands um, if you don't take care of it properly uh, can have bad bad outcome I felt lucky and I wasn't lucky I'm not gonna try this again quick um, quick note what I just tried to do there um, I try to build up enough rotation to fling across from the platform and reach the checkpoint on the other end because otherwise, which we will do now because I don't want to attempt this a second time um, that way I would respawn on the checkpoint and wouldn't have to wait until the until the minecart comes oh yeah, the minecart by the way is the, the element that many uh, many 2D platformers have and this one as well Oh no, this doesn't this doesn't look very good. Ah, blah. Can I survive this? Tracks. Yeah, I haven't I haven't spoken about electricity by the way. So if you fall down electricity like here, I just demonstrated with a chunk of fungus. The whole chunk that falls down on the tracks gets electrocuted, so I wanna avoid to fall down on the tracks on the electrocuted on electrifying tracks uh, as a whole. Okay, now I wanna stay on the hook here. Yeah. So, if you're enjoying the event, by the way, consider donating. Save the children. Cool charity. Good friends. Um, so you have nice runs and also feel good about yourself because you did something good. Okay, now I go through that rotating wheel here. Here's an upward stream that I can use to get up. However, I just crawl around on the on the wall. That's a bit faster. Especially with the upward stream, with the upward stream uh, helping me out. Here the same. I could use the stream, but I just going to the wall, use that to build like an upwards rotation, much faster. Alrighty, and now get in here. These uh, double mouthed worms are actually pretty dangerous because they can breathe fire, and that's like destroying a lot of you. There's another one of our favorite gates. Uh, 
Oh, come on. So I'm gonna use the upward stream here. Are you? Okay. Um, what I just did here is I erased myself, even though I told you I can't do this. It is possible if you only have one cell left of the fungus. Alright, that's embarrassing. If you only have one cell left of the fungus and you mash the eraser on top of that cell, you are actually able to erase it yourself. Alright, I would have wondered if that didn't work. Here we go. Yeah, sometimes the game has a few of these scenes that are like uh, very crucial, and this is actually the next one directly. If I oh, I'm not gonna make that. Am I? Oh, I'm making it. That's uh, that's actually pretty cool. All right, this is sometimes you're unlucky and um, have a very bad uh, position when you get up there. Now I'm trying to shoot myself with the grinder up to the next platform, and now up to the next one. All right, here we go. That's cool. Doesn't look too bad so far. Ha. And there's the next checkpoint. Hooray! Whoops. Here is a uh, rotating wheel that moves along a track in the background, so I have to not fall off. I have to keep the rotation going on the wheel and not fall off. It's pretty cool what kind of um, environmental puzzles the developers came up with that were designed around the movement mechanic. They want to get a certain height and at one point, oh no, I'm not, I'm not gonna risk it yet. At one point, I can, whoop. You know what, let's just, let's just play it safe. He said, and climb down anyway, climbed up. Um, yeah, you can just climb up on the wall. Climbing up on the wall is often very risky. Yeah. Um, because uh, you have to like make sure to somehow s keep touching the wall in order to, in order for you to regenerate. That was unfortunate was too greedy. Come on, can Ah, oh, dang it. Well, I'm gonna have to wait until the fire-breathing double-mouthed worm, double fire worm, gets away so I can hang up here. Now I have to wait until it gets back and now I can absorb it so it can no longer hurt us. Here I'm trying to not bring these background discs into too much rotation because otherwise, oh, because otherwise movement around them can be a bit of a pain. Looks good so far, alrighty. Checkpoint, there we go. And cool. Oh. There's a uh, physics puzzle. Trying to put more weight on one of the platforms than the other. And here's the final minecart of this level and also of this game, because only this game, this level has minecarts in this game. We could buy minecarts. Getting catapulted across here. Oh, that wasn't a very good shot, to be honest. Oh, that's fine. I'm getting in this disc in the background, using the upstream to make it rotate, and that will open the gate on top of me. Whoa, come on. And I... Oh wow, that was pretty clutch. And we're at the uh, next level boss. I have to... Uh, first I have to absorb the worms on the side. Like this. How did that... How did this uh, survive? Nice. Come on, touch it! Ah. Come on, I can do this. I, I've done this before. All right. Here we go. So and now, I'm actually, ideally, I'm trying to not outright kill this guy, but probably I will. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Eh. Because possible to use this yeah it's possible to use the thing as a platform but um, we we'll just use the upstream instead and get to the level end yeah, I'm fine with that chapter six so this is actually already the penultimate chapter you might be wondering uh, why the estimate is so high 
That is because the last chapter is really, really, really long. And also in this chapter at the end, the uh, boss fight is can troll you very hard. So here we are like in an abandoned lab or a hospital or some sort, some kind of scientific um, building. And we need to do a round. Well, obviously all the all the sites here are are um, abandoned. Mankind is long since gone. Whoops, come on, can I please? Yeah, this is one of the scenes where the game helps you by prioritizing which cells uh, do regrow. I'm not risking that. With a good rotation you can make make the jump across, but as there is obviously due to the nature of the, the movement of this game, there is no jump button. Um, like doing any jump motion is, uh, well, only achieved through specific rotation. Speaking of rotation, oh, whoops. Not the other chunk of the fungus, kind of. Six here. Mm. I'm fast. I and make it. Okay, now I have to be really clutch because up there, what I want to do is uh, I'm not risking it. Okay, I could have squeezed up there into the thing with the niche up there and get. Okay, am I am I risking it now? I am. All right, cool. So here's another one of these puzzles. Um, this time we have to like split ourselves in three parts. And um, dum dum dum, get across, nice. Now you remember how electricity works? Here's the button that I need to touch at the same time as I electrocute the part of the fungus that touches it. So I have to keep this button pressed. And now reach, all right, here we go. Reach that, now we have activated the gate. Cool. Scary monster in the tank would be really scary if we saw one of those but alive. Hint, 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 hint. Okay, uh, I'm trying to climb up here. Cool. And now it didn't even help me because I fell down anyway. Alright, let's, let's do it the casual way, I guess. It's fine. The game is full of little optimizations such as that and uh, often, often when you're trying to go for them, it loses a lot of time when you're going for them. So this hook is a real troll because um, yeah, stuff like this can happen. It, it looks really easy to do it, and sometimes I get it like super easily, but sometimes, I, yeah, like like right now, karma. Uh, let's get it. Can you please stay on top there? Thank you. So I want to row around. Oh, here we go. Phew. Getting out of hand now. There's three of them. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Now here's a new mechanic. These are uh, missiles or rockets or whatever you call them. Um, the first one I'm supposed to use as, as an elevator, but I'm just crawling up the, the wall because um, going on top of the rocket will slow it down, and it will take a longer time to be on the rocket to uh, get up. I'm not risking that. So um, just using the wall. So here, whoop, with the next rocket, we have a pretty cool thing that might or might not work. I don't know. I'm going to give it a try because it, it, it's cool if it, if it works. doesn't look too good, actually. Uh, nah, it doesn't work. Okay, you could see I, couldn't, uh, I could grow through the wall there. And if you have a, a good position and a good um, angle, the cells will grow up in the wall. And um, you're able to reach this very checkpoint here from below, and then you can just reload the checkpoint, and you're up there without doing the missile ride. But the missile ride isn't, doesn't take too much time. It's it's just very cool if it works. Here I'm attempting another another cool trick. Yeah. All right. Use the momentum to just get across this obstacle. Hopefully without dying down here, because then the whole skip was for nothing. Okay. Let's go. Uh. Oh no! Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Whoops. I always uh, choose the, the left one, the left missile, because the right one never works for me, but here I just... Yeah, karma is, karma is reaching for me today. 
we'll get this eventually, don't worry. Need, I need to get the, set the right angle, and now I have to, like, set the angle back. Ah, uh, here we go. Whew. Reached the checkpoint. Okay, now we're actually approaching the boss. Oh, by the way, you see this, uh, the purple goo returning from level 2? Remember when I touch it, the mushroom starts dissolving? The, the red mist up there is actually the same effect, but a lot more aggressive. And the boss that we are seeing now is shooting, like, uh, shooting us with a substance that has the same effect. So, like this, it dissolves the fungus super fast, and I have to be really careful. Um, I'm attempting... I need to, to hit the three balloons on top of the boss. Um... What I want to attempt, though, is... Uh, I think the, the game received a patch recently, and I haven't seen the patch notes, but I have a feeling that some things in this uh, in this boss fight have changed. Because um, usually the, the shots of the boss would uh, get destroyed as well with the missile shot. However, let's see... No! Okay. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how long how long this is gonna take, because this boss can be a pain. Oh, nice. Here we go. That's not too bad. It is possible to use the missile and fly above it, but that's, like, really hard to do, and, uh... Um... Can't expect it to happen in a... In an actual run of the game. Yeah, and here are we at the final level. But as I have hinted earlier, the final stage is actually the by far the longest. Um, so we should we should be able to stay under estimate. But I'm, I'm I don't want to jinx anything here. There's many parts in this stage where I have felt very comfortable and then uh, didn't work out. Anywho, you see the uh, the sticky walls here. Um, the plants on the walls they make the walls sticky, and I can crawl around them without falling down. It very much looks like a jungle that we are entering now, and you might be forgiven thinking that. Uh, but the game gives you a few hints that this actually used to be uh, something far more civilized than a jungle. Um, that was not what I, what I intended. So, waiting for the upstream here. Alrighty, getting on the sticky ceiling, getting across here, and yeah, all good. Here's these, uh, I don't know if these are underground beetles um, trying to bait me or some other plants. Here we see a tumbleweed to the left that we're supposed to use as a platform on the spikes. However, I don't use that, I just skip the tumbleweed and leave it there go down like this. These airstreams are trying to push me back, but if I'm very flat on the ground, they can't hit me much. In this puzzle here, we're supposed to fall down from above with a lot bit more momentum, but what I'm trying to do instead is like this. I grew on the wall, and growing down on the wall is faster than just falling down, so we are fast enough to escape the spikes by just using growth. Oh wow, unfortunate timing. Just waiting until they appear again. I'm usually trying to get across there in one cycle here. Okay, yeah, that's good. Don't die here, please. Uh, I said don't die here, thank you. Another tumbleweed, uh, which we're supposed to use, but we are not, because uh, I'm supposed to like put it across here Use the maze below, and then uh, use it as a platform. However, what I'm instead trying to do is this. Just jumping across with a good rotation. It's actually pretty scary. Here's an apparatus that we're supposed to use as a rotation apparatus. But um, I do know how to rotate the fungus on itself, so we don't need that either. Let's go. Here's uh, another seesaw puzzle. Um, I'm using a solution that I came up with. That sometimes, oh, sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Let's see if it does work now. It 
does. Nice. Okay, these are the two stones. I have to stay in the left one. Now I have to put weight into the right one as much as I can. Split them. And squeeze through there. Alright, well we have the rotate uh rotating platforms. I just barely missed the cycle on the on the right one. I'm not even sure if that cycle is possible. Um the events in this game activate by proxy, so depending on how close you are to the to the obstacles, uh their movement the environment will start. Um I'm not sure where exactly the trigger for these rotation platforms is. So getting up there. Doing this the first time can be really hard, actually. Um, I've done this a couple times and I'm still always scared of this particular uh, movement that is coming up. I'm yeah, nice! I, m I messed it up. I said I'm scared, so now you know why. I can mess this up like this. It rarely happens to me, actually, but of course, uh, due to my nervosity of this life run... <laughs> Apologies. I'm gonna play this safe now. Uh, maybe I'm even go using the casual strike right now to avoid having this uh, this happening a second time. What does the timer say? The timer says actually good. Yeah, all right. I, I'm using the casual strike right now. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have looked at the timer. Um, that what what uh, that's what you get when you're uh, when you're running at a marathon run. Just forget everything and um, forget how to play the game. I am actually the world record holder of this game. Unfortunately, uh, which is sad because <laughs> my PB is perfectly beatable, but there is nobody else playing the game. One day, I asked a former runner of the game, the previous world record holder, "Hey, if you ever want to race, let me know." Then he said, "Like, ah, yeah, sorry, man, but uh, it, it, this game is too hard on my wrists." And I was like, "Okay," um, which I can't blame him. Uh, this game is actually the reason why I have. Um, Whoops, hang on, let me, let, let me just finish this puzzle. Why I've opted to use a, a vertical mouse instead of a usual horizontal one. Now we have the, uh, the tumbleweed that is now angry. It's attacking us because we're not using it as the as the puzzle solution that it's, it's intended to be used. Um, and I'm not faring pretty well, to be honest. Let's go. Come on, grow up. Thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, cool. Got it. Trying to get some airflow. Yeah, okay. One fun fact about this game, uh, there's actually a mobile version of this um, on iOS and I think also on Android, I'm not sure. And for some reason, the um, the mobile version has a flipped screen mode. Because you might be wondering, in most platforming games, you walk from left to right. But in this game, you walk from right to left. That is because you control this game with your mouse. And so you always have to use the eraser from from the direction where you're coming from to the direction where you're going to. And most people have the mouse on the right-hand side of the keyboard, even left-handed people, most of them, I think. I'm not left-handed. If you're a lefty in chat, then let me know. I mean, if you're a left-handed person. <laughs> let, me, let me know if your mouse is on the on your left-hand side of the keyboard. Um, and it feels more natural to, uh, to move towards your body than away from it. So um, this is why the levels are this direction and the mobile version actually has a flip mode where you can uh, go from from left to right like an, a mirrored version the pc version for some reason does not have this does not have this mode so i'm sorry for all left-handed people or even right-handed people who have the mouse on the, on the left hand side but um, it, it will feel more unnatural to you and i uh, it's been a long time since i messed this up we shouldn't talk too much about mouse positions and runs but we can make this happen. So sorry if this looks lewd. Uh, it's just the game. It's just your imagination. It's not 
game is not trying to tell you anything. All right, cool. Made it across. Now we are greeted here with another tumbleweed. Do you remember what tumble tumbleweeds mean in this stage? It means another puzzle that we don't need the tumbleweed for. We can just get across. This is actually the easiest one of the tumbleweed puzzles that we not don't need it for. Now here's a, a grinder that I used to like catapult me up there. So on this next puzzle, uh, it's a gate made out of bamboo. I call it the bamboozle gate. I call it <laughs> I call it that because um, I have to align these three lines and I have to like push them in a certain uh, a certain amount into the wall. And looks like now, sometimes it just takes way longer than it should because I just don't get the the right. Um oh, that was so close! I just don't get the <laughs> get the right. Um Good work. Yeah, that okay, I'm fine with that. So that that has killed runs for me. The next thing is the bamboozle wheel. I call it that because that doing this this thing casually is incredibly hard, which is why I came up with this very strat here. <laughs> it's faster and also easier to do. Even in my no death run at this stage, I use this strat because I just I, I just can't do the casual strat of the bamboozle wheel. You have to wait for the cycle and. Uh, all across these appearing dots. In the background we can see some bit of a lore. We see M01, M02, M03. And kind of the checkpoint. It's possible to get the cycle skip here. Didn't get it. I can live with that, to be honest. So you might be wondering what what do these M's mean? What could they what could they stand for? I mean, you probably have a pretty good idea, considering you can see the the title of the of the game's name. Uh, you can see the, the title of the game on the screen. You can also see that the M11 down there is uh, broken. Has broken out, so might have something to do with us. <coughs> Excuse me, we don't know. Alright, so here's another grinder. Get in, get in there. I didn't want to put so many in there. Uh, and now let's... Excuse me? Okay, yeah, well, it's fine. I just want to make sure to not accidentally leave a cell of fungus behind because uh, that way you might do what I call bad fungus management and you erase the part of the fungus that you want to keep. That I mentioned at the start of the run. Down there, this is basically, this is by the way, um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be acid or hot water, but touching this will immediately erase a bunch of your cells, so you have to be careful about it. It doesn't infect you like the like the purple goo or like the red mist, but um, it's still pretty dangerous. Here I'm just trying to crawl up this wall like this, nice. And here we have the final environmental puzzle. I'm trying to cling on this bamboo stuff, and now I can just get across here. You see, I just touched this this water in the back and the on the bottom there, and I started to dissolve. Cool. Now here's the uh, uh, the final boss of the game. Oh, are we staying under estimate at this run? Oh, uh, doesn't look good. Anywho, let's uh, do our best. I'm trying to get close to its mouth from the inside rotation. Remember how we used to play Snake on old Nokia phones? You might have an idea what I have to do with this boss. So I also w try to stay close to it. <coughs> Whenever I... F Hello? Eat me, please. Don't I Whenever I feed myself to it, it grows a little larger. And this is actually... I, I used to think back in the day when I first played this game... Wait. Not why I wanted to stay. Okay, it's fine. Um, yeah. Rip the estimate, I'm sorry. Uh... I used to think this was a dragon-like creature that like flew around, but it's actually just a giant beetle that crawls on the back, the back, uh, background of the stage. If you if you close, if you look closely, you can see that it has tiny legs that are like uh, walking around the backside wall. Can you eat? Thank you. 
Ethan Greens, Dear Beagle. How many more? Three. Come on! What you In more trouble than I'm willing to admit. So now I should have killed myself. That is good, that is actually what I wanted. And now I wanna finish give it the final come on. Okay, this is not what I intended, but let's give it the final final piece of fungus. Oh no, it's the second final. Dang. Okay, here we go. And remember Ouroboros? I said uh, the, the um, topic of Ouroboros is a lot in this game. So how could it be even more Ouroboros than the literal picture of an Ouroboros? Pretty cool. Um, so now I use the exploded body parts of the boss. Climb up the stage here. And... We're not done yet with the game because we still have the epilogue to do. This is pretty short, so we should be done very, very quickly. Get ready on time. Uh, if you would let me climb up here. So, trying to get up there. There's still one, one more part I could badly choke, but I hope that I won't. Uh, I'm already over it. Let's go. Yeah, and we're choking. Okay, and... Time. Here we go. All right. It was a giant checkpoint we just got in, and uh, now we are populating the Earth with even more of our fungi brethren. Pretty cool game, Mushroom 11. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't played it, even casually, give it a try. If you thought the speedrun looks interesting, give it a try. We don't have a Discord because nobody runs this game, uh, but um, I will probably find you if you run it. Okay, that's it for me. Uh, keep watching the uh, rest of the event. Uh, keep donating. Pretty good cause. And um, yeah, have fun with Hackathon Offline. Goodbye. Hello, just to let you know, the No More Runs Bible Cat is completely wrong. We have lots of runs. We will be here until 10 in the evening. Don't worry, don't go anywhere. Especially you in chat. Don't panic, basket. There we go, fixed it. Poggers.